Hello, now I am going to solve a projection of lines or part of our engineering graphics and now we are going to see a type 2 sum in the projection of lines. What is given in the question is the end P of a line PQ 70 mm long is 15 mm above HP and 20 mm in front of VP. Q is 40 mm above the HP, its top view is inclined at 40 degree to VP. Draw the projection of line and find the inclination with HP. What is given is the true length of the line is 70 mm and what is given is the line PQ is 15 mm is 15 mm above HP and 20 mm in front of VP. One end is 15 mm above the HP and 20 mm in front of VP. These are the important clues in the question. And uh, Q is 40 mm above the HP. And the other end, other end of the line, that is Q is 40 mm above the HP. Its top view is, and uh, as this is a type 2 sum, he had given the inclination of the true length of the line. What he had given is, the top view of the line is inclined at 45 degree to VP and we have to find we have to draw the projection of line as well we have to find the inclination with HP and VP now I have taken the important points from the question so that to draw the projection of line would be more easier what I have taken is the given is true length true length of the line is 70 mm and we can name as uh, PQ and what is given is it's 50 mm, 15 mm above HP let me draw the horizontal plane on the vertical plane this is HP and VP XY is the reference line first step the true length of the line is 70 mm and uh, what is given is 15 mm the line PQ one end, one end, let me take as P. One end of the line is 15 mm above HP. 15 mm above HP means the projection of line would be on the HP. See, on VP, sorry. The projection of line would be on VP. So, I am going to mark 15 mm above HP. I am marking VP its projection of line is on VP and what is given is the next clue that maybe the line starts from here the one end of the line is P I have marked let me consider this P dash so that I can mark the top view as P second second step what the third step I am going to do is what is given is 20 mm in front of VP it's given 20 mm in front of VP. 20 mm in front of VP in the sense it's 20 mm. Its projection is on HP. This is 15 mm and this is 20 mm. Let me take this as P. The line starts from here. So I have taken P. This is P dash. And we are very much familiar with this. This is top view and this is front view. Now we are going to, what is given is, the fourth step is, we have finished this. Fourth step is, he had given the top view inclination of the line is 45 degree to VP. So, um, 45, degree in the, 45 degree and he had given top view. Top view is nothing but, it is, it lies on HP. So, let me measure the top view, take a protractor and draw a 45 degree line, this is, and we know the true length of the line is 70 mm and this length of the line is 70 mm, draw a locus of Q, this is locus of Q, why I have drawn this is, this distance is 70 mm 
बिकॉज द ट्रू लेंथ ऑफ द ट्रू लेंथ ऑफ द लाइन पी क्यू दिस इज क्यू इज सेवेंटी एम एम सो आई हैव ड्रॉन सेवेंटी एम एम लाइन एंड दिस इंक्लेशन इज फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री एज ही हैव गिवन द टॉप व्यू इंक्लेशन इज फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री दिस इज टॉप व्यू एंड इफ यू व्यू फ्रॉम टॉप द प्रोजेक्शन विल फॉल्स ऑन एच पी सो आई हैव ड्रॉन फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री इंक्लेशन वॉट इज द सेकेंड स्टेप आई एम गोइंग टू डू This is locus of Q. Locus of Q, and I am going to project this line to the locus of Q one. Let me take this as Q one. This is not locus of Q one. This is the distance. So I am I am consider this as yes. some this this some name i can give yes and 15 mm above hp let me draw the true length of the line and here the other end of the line that is q other end of the line q is 40 mm above hp so let me measure the length 40 mm This is forty mm above HP, and I am going to draw a locus Q dash. This is the locus locus of Q dash. And now I am going to take my compass and measure the measure. I am going to take the length of uh, true length. This is seventy mm in my compass, and I am going to cut an arc on. on the locus of q dash so that i will be getting a line p q dash what i am going to do is i am going to project this line to the locus of maybe this may be q1 i am going to project this line to the locus of q1 to draw the top view and after this this is q1 now i am going to take the distance of this should be a perpendicular line i am going to draw drop a drop a perpendicular line from q dash to the locus of q1 and take the distance of p and this a uh, perpendicular line distance and cut an arc so that you will be getting a smooth curve which will be touching the locus of q name this as q2 and and draw Join P and Q two so that you will be getting the inclination, the other inclination phi one. This is phi. Already he had given the true length is forty five forty five degree, and uh, phi one is now we have drawn P and Q Q two. Now here what I am going to do is I have projected the I am going to draw a perpendicular line from Q two S. the locus uh, q to s and i am going to take the measurement of p dash and s in my compass and i am going to draw a smooth curve so that it touches on the locus of q and i am going to join p dash and uh, maybe uh, name it as q2 or name it as q2 dash as we have marked here q2 and q2 dash and uh, i am going to join p dash and q2 dash so that i will be getting the true inclination of true inclination on hp theta and theta 1 i repeat take the clues from the question what i have taken is first the true length of the line is 70 mm is given and it's 15 mm above hp and 20 mm in front of vp and q is 40 mm above hp and top view inclination is 45 degree what i have did is i have drawn the reference line step one is draw the reference line then mark hp and vp this is horizontal plane and vertical plane then what is given is it's 15 mm above hp so the projection of line would be on vp this is 15 mm above hp and i drawn the locus of this line this is 15 mm this distance is 15 mm 
and what is given is other other clue is 20 mm in front of VP. So if it is in front of VP, the projection of line would fall on HP. So that I have drawn this, I have taken this as 20 mm in front of VP. This is in front of VP, 20 mm in front of VP. Then the next twist in the question is they are given the top view inclination as 45 degree. So the top view inclination is this is this is the top view. The top view falls on HP. So I have drawn an inclination of 45 degree. The true length of the line is 70 mm. So I have drawn the locus and I have plotted the P and Q. And what the next is? Q is the other end. The other end of the line is Q. That is 45 mm above HP. So it is 45 mm from here. This I have taken. Sorry, 40 mm. Excuse. 40 mm above HP. And I have drawn the locus of Q dash. Locus of Q dash. Then I have marked the point. I have taken. I have measured uh, 70 mm. That is true length of the line in my compass. And I have cut an arc on the locus of Q. And I have joined this P dash and Q dash. Now I have dropped a perpendicular line from Q dash to the locus of Q1. And I have taken the distance of P and this thing, this uh, Q1 projection and I have drawn a smooth curve so that it cuts an arc on the locus of Q and I have joined P and Q2 then from here, from Q, I have, I have drawn a perpendicular line to the locus of P dash S so that, and I have measured the distance of P dash and this perpendicular line and I have drawn the curve that is smooth arc which touches on the Q this arc is on Q and I have joined P dash and Q2 dash and I have marked the inclination of this uh, HP. This is inclination of HP. Theta and theta 1 are the inclination on HP. And phi and phi 1 is inclination the VP. Thank you.